currencies, the one currency that's really playing on the market's mind right now is the Japanese yen and companies that have exposure to it. Take a look at what's happening to Maruti stock, still down 2 2.5%. So we've got Sonia joining in as well as Mr. Bhargava to take us through what really this could mean for the company. So thanks for taking this call. I have an obvious concern out there with the way the yen is surging. You need to make these royalty payments to Suzuki and also the imports that you might have. Uh, what is the mathematics? What's the equation with this kind of surge that we are seeing? What does it mean for your margins? Uh, hello. At, at the moment, I can't comment on margins. We never comment on margins at all. But uh, our effort has throughout been to reduce our dependence on uh, imports, particularly uh, imports which are yen denominated. Mm -hmm. And the program of localizing inner part imports by vendors has been carrying on for the last oh, maybe five or six years. Mm -hmm. And that has paid off in terms of reduced imports and uh, much greater local content. Mm -hmm. In addition to this, uh, we have started exporting the Bellino to Japan. Mm -hmm. And uh, that will provide a kind of natural hedge to our imports from Japan because uh, they're both in yen. So that will uh, bring down the dependence on the yen imports. So overall, I would say that uh, the impact of uh, fluctuations in the yen, either way, are not going to be as much now as they used to be in the past. Yes, that's true. Mr. Bhargav, uh, good afternoon. This is Sonia here. You know, a couple of years ago, you had a very high dependency on the yen. It was sure. almost to the tune of 20% plus uh, uh, as a percentage of your sales were yen denominated. Can you tell us how much has it dwindled down to now? Is it 10%, 12%, any ballpark number just to understand how much the yen dependency has reduced for the company? I'm not uh, able to give you an exact figure, Sonia, but uh, the fact is that... Uh, we have been taking, you know, even on the royalty side, as you know, we've uh, said this earlier, that all the new models, uh, Breza onwards, mm. will have royalty denominated in rupees. Mm. And therefore, the impact of a rising yen, which meant a much larger outflow of rupees, will no longer be there as we go along, mm. Breza being the first car. And uh, the imports, which... Uh, we do for components is now partially getting set off by the exports to Japan. Mm. So overall, while I cannot give you the numbers as to what extent uh, we will be dependent on yen imports and the fluctuations which arise from that, all I can say is that in qualitative terms, the situation will be better. Okay, that's good to hear. You know, you spoke about the export of Baleno to Japan and that will provide a natural hedge uh, to your company. Are you looking at exporting any other uh, products to Japan just to increase the natural hedges? Not at the moment. Okay. And uh, I think let's first see how the Baleno performs, how it is accepted by the customers there. And after that, I think we'll discuss with Suzuki, he'll tell us what else we could try and uh, put out uh, for exports to Japan. Okay, so for what is the progress on the Baleno export so far? Still early to say, you know, it takes time uh, for this uh, to have an impact. The first cars were shipped out from here only, I think, end of January or beginning of February. Mm -hmm. And after that, they have to go and uh, be uh, inspected and checked and then sent to the different dealerships. So I don't really have an update on uh, what is the state of uh, sales of the Bellino in Japan. Okay, so the, uh, from the beginning of uh, February, the first cars have been shipped out. So if you can just tell us, you know, what the, uh, I mean, my colleague was asking about the margin impact. You won't be able to quantify in numbers for us. But the fact of the matter is that the margins have been very, very steady despite the strengthening of the yen. I mean, even in the quarter gone by, the margins were at almost 15 and a half percent. Uh, do you think that because of uh, natural hedges on account of, you know, exports, also cost reductions and lowering of ma various costs like promotion expenses, etc., the margins will at least be able to be held on at these levels of about 15 to 15 and a half percent? Sonia, I'm afraid I can't comment on the margins. Okay. All right, Mr. Bhargav, we leave it at that. Thank you for uh, joining us and clarifying that to us. So, uh, as the management said, uh, the dependency of the yen uh, 
you know, on their earnings has reduced quite a bit. Uh, the numbers that we have is that earlier from about 20% of uh, their um, sales were yen denominated now that has reduced to about 14 percent only eight percent of their sales comes from yen denominated imports and as they said all the new models will have the royalty denominated in the rupee so mm. even that amount of royalty outgo that was yen denominated that reduces as well so company trying its best to perhaps uh, kind of deleverage or de-risk itself from yeah. the way the yen moves thanks Sonia, so much for that update